Hello there. The TV channel GB News is seen as a bastion of Brexit supporters. But even their presenter was stunned by the results of the channel's most recent survey. Martin Dorney did not reveal that 55% of viewers now think that leaving the EU is a bad idea. And the scene was symbolic. The word is indeed on everyone's lips again after years of the British government hardly mentioning Brexit or at least downplaying negative consequences. The portal Politico commented on this, back to the future. The trigger was a report in the Sunday Times that, due to the severe economic crisis, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak wanted a rapprochement with the EU based on the Swiss model. This should eliminate the barriers that have arisen in trade with the EU. Such comparisons had been made in government circles, that's at least what the Financial Times reporting, citing its own research. However, Sunak denied that such a, any, any idea like this existed. He voted for Brexit, he believes in Brexit, and he knows that Brexit can and has already delivered tremendous benefits and opportunities for this country. That's what the Prime Minister said at an industry conference on Monday. There must have been a lot of booze that day. The EU Commission announced that no offer had been made, but that they were working together with London on the basis of the negotiated uh, arrangements. The fact that this discussion is still erupting is not surprising given the poor economic situation in the United Kingdom. The most salient problems are recession, high inflation, skills shortages and declining real wages. And the Finance Minister or Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, wants to flush the empty coffers with around £55 billion with tax increases and spending cuts. But what attracted particular attention in conservative circles was Hunt spoke out in favour of more immigration to boost the economy and close gaps, while the anger about freedom of movement had been a Brexit driver. The conservative newspaper Daily Mail warned about this. Don't betray us on Brexit. The post was shared on Twitter by former Culture Minister Nadine Dorries, a close confidant of ex-Prime Minister Boris Johnson, and you all will have heard of her. Boris is, of course, still the face of Brexit. Get Brexit done was his mantra. A number of Conservatives still claims that he did it. However, the withdrawal agreement with the EU has left many questions unanswered that still await an answer. And the bureaucracy has increased significantly. While the treaty largely ensures smooth trade, tariffs have emerged and bilateral trade has collapsed. The bad news for the Brexiteers has increased recently. The free trade agreement with Australia, celebrated by the government as the first important deal after Brexit, is bad for Great Britain. That was criticized by the Conservative ex-Environment Minister George Eustace. Uh, Eustace. Brexit has had significant adverse effects on trade with the EU and is causing lasting damage to the economy, emphasized the independent economic regulator OBR. The Opinion Research Institute, uh, YouGov, finally determined that approval for Brexit was lower than ever, which was confirmed by GB News of all people. <laughs> and that's really funny. Sorry. In London, they say Brexit is back. It feels like the Conservative Party is finally acknowledging economic reality. That's what Gavin Barwell, that's former Prime Minister Theresa May's Chief of Staff, noted in an interview with Politico. However, one cannot expect the UK to suddenly go into reverse gear and return to the EU. Since Brexit, the influence of Brexit supporters in the Conservative Party has increased indeed. According to polls, opposition leader Keir Starmer from the Labour Party, who therefore has a good chance of winning the next election in 2024, rejects a return to the single market. According to observers, however, it could definitely help that there is now a debate and that Brexit is no longer the invisible elephant in the room. Because in order to move the country forward, it is important to acknowledge the problems that Brexit has caused. Otherwise, standstill threatens. And that's why I never ended to talk about Brexit on this channel, because Brexit has never gone away. Even if you put your hat in the sand, it will not go away. And I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.